Unlike most rugby players in Kenya who took up the sport while in high school, Biko was introduced to the oval ball while he was just 12 years old in primary school at St. Mary's in Nairobi. He loved the game so much that he decided to take a leap of faith and train with the secondary school team. And, um, the guys actually welcomed, welcomed us. They were even impressed that these guys from Primo actually coming to train with us. So ever since then I just continued. When Adema finally graduated to secondary school, his transition into the high school rugby team was seamless and he was captain of the squad numerous times, leading the blue and white shirts to cap glory. The national selectors had been tracking his performance while in school and in 2006, he got the shock of his life when he was called up to the National Rugby 15s team that was heading to South Africa for an international tour. Kenya lost heavily both home and away, but it was an invaluable experience for Adema. In 2007, the Kenya 7s technical bench was also keen on testing the boy Wanda. My first game was actually against Italy. I came in as a sub, um, probably I played just uh, two minutes towards the end of the game. But uh, I seemed to, to, to impress, so the next game, the following game, I was, I was put to start. And that, that was against the All Blacks. And the things that were going, in, in my, going on in my head, in my tummy, I mean, just you know, lining up before we entered the pitch was, was, was crazy. I was, I, yeah, I, was, I was massively tense, of course. Um, but as, I, I think as the game went on, um, I got a bit, a bit more confidence. But one match Adema will never forget was the 2009 Rugby World Cup 7s in Dubai, when Kenya beat Fiji in the cup quarters to advance to the semi-finals. Adema scored one of the tries in that memorable victory against the much-fancied Pacific Islanders. So, uh, Odo had just made a break. He got a pass, a, a long pass from Lavin, so he made a break. And then, uh, yeah, he had one more defender to beat or, or to draw. So he gave me a long pass and I just, uh, he was a highway to the try line. Biko Adema, he's on challenge, Biko Adema, the 21-year-old scampers home. But I, I, just, I just put the, the foot on the pedal and just went all the way to the try line. Did a small dive there and yeah, it was, that was one of the best. Uh... Four years later, the Kenya 7s team has grown in leaps and bounds. The team has taken a celebrity status, both locally and internationally, with a huge fan base. Adema's parents are his biggest supporters. From the beginning, you know, I thought it was a very dangerous game and all that. But uh, he had the talent or the interest in it. Like before he goes, I try to see if I can make it to the airport. When they come back, I see if I can pick him. And then he just psychs up the guy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The Kenya 7s team is definitely respected worldwide for its playing style as well as its flair. If you score a try... You know, just give us something, yeah. Um, and then the rest of the players come and join. Just tell us which ones they have. Like in the World Cup, I remember the the one the the the, the guys were doing a lot was uh, was called a Koga. Like you know, mm. um, the guy who scores a try, and I guess you know just <laughs> something like that, man. Yeah. The seventh team usually traverses nine countries worldwide. Whenever Biko is outside the country on international duty, he admits he misses the Kenyan cuisine. I like I like pilau, yeah, yeah pilau and uh, yeah chicken stew. You know, it's all the things I usually just like. Although rugby is his favorite pastime, Adema has other interests and has aspirations of being a music producer. He spends most of his free time when off the pitch in the makeshift studio near their home with his elder brother. He's also studying graphic design. Adema, however, knows that rugby will be at the top of his priority list, but he doesn't mind. The sport has been part of his life for 14 years and counting. Reporting for Citizen Sports, I'm Bernard Ndong.